only deal with fire, we passing on all the weak ish. Talk of pure culture, ain't none of that hype beast ish. Nah, this beginning to the end, no. Always keep it G, ain't nothing here for pretend, yo. Yeah, so you should want to lift your friends, know the God of the sneakers get blessed by Saint Hendo. I'm out. What's up, YouTube? All right, it's your boy Saint Hendo again, guys' favorite sneaker hit. All right, uh, I definitely appreciate all the support. I appreciate you guys stopping by to check me out. Um, by all means, subscribe, like, comment, share this. I'm putting out good content. If you like what you're seeing, check me out. Like, I might not have every new sneaker that drops, but I'm definitely putting out good content. So with that said, thank you again for all the support and everything that you've done. We're getting this channel on the move. Hit that subscribe button down below and I'll keep you, keep you entertained and I'll keep you informed of what I got going on and what's going on in the sneaker culture. All right, so let's get into it. So with that being said, today's video is about some of the biggest beef that we have in the sneaker culture. One of the biggest, this is Red Sox Yankees. This is Pittsburgh Cleveland. This, this is like a real situation out here. So what I'm talking about is Jordan 1 highs and Jordan low mids. These are mids, in case anybody that's watching, maybe you ain't never seen them, because a lot of people don't fool with mids. I fool with mids. Um, but you get some guys that just, they, they prefer night. They just only rock highs, and that's fine. If that's your thing, do it, that's your thing. But I never really understood what the problem was. I don't, I don't get it. These are the Chicago one mids. Um, the only thing different that I can tell is the, I don't have Chicago one highs. So is this back tab should be red. That's the only difference that I can tell other than the Jordan logo that's on the tongue. That should be a Nike. Um, but other than that, it's predominantly the same sneaker other than it's chopped off right here at the top. These can be maybe 150 I got these. 150 retail pretty much. Um, Chicago highs, four, $600. For those right now, if you went to StockX, if you went to Gold, um, unless you know somebody that got some dead stock, um, but even buying them used ain't cheap. It's not. It's not a buck fifty. You're not gonna find them for a buck fifty unless they completely beat. Uh, so, I never understood why that's. It's such a big ordeal. Now you can complain about the materials. You can complain about the quality or whatnot. But to me, this is. It's not horrible. It's not the worst Jordan shoe ever made. Like the material isn't just complete. A uh, complete dumpster fire out here. It, it's. It's reasonable material. I mean, it's a sneaker. It's not. <laughs> There's nothing crazy, but, and you're not paying, you know, some people are paying 200 plus dollars for other sneakers that are way worse quality than this. Way worse. So I don't see what the headache is about. That's me personally. I, I like sneakers. Like, I don't care. Like, it's, I care to a certain extent. But when it comes to stuff like this, like, I may not ever be able to get a pair of Chicago ones. Like, I just don't have the money like that. Um, I have a lot of sneakers, don't get me wrong, but I definitely do not have the money just to drop that on there. I got kids, I got wife, I got <laughs> I got other stuff, I got priorities. So I can't just drop that all the time on, on J's that I want or any sneakers for that matter. But definitely, I think this is a very reasonable substitution for the Jordan 1s, the highs. Um, it may not be the absolute best quality, but let me tell you something, they're sneakers, you're gonna wear them. They, they're all right to me. I like sneakers, I like sneakers as a whole. Um, so these suit my needs for when I, one day maybe I will get Chicago's, but it's so much, excuse me, it's so much static about these, the mids. I just had to say something about it because it's crazy. Um, I, I never had an issue. I have a couple mids here. Nothing, no outlandish ones. I got like, I think I got Phantom, Phantom ones. Um, I had the Royals. So it's not like, uh, I, I don't know about mids and people talk about the back heel tab and and rubbing on on ankles and all that to each their own like I, I it is what it is but me personally i'll buy mid in a heartbeat won't think nothing else of it um it, it'll suit the fit it'll suit the colorway works out for me and especially if i can get the if the, i can get a mid in the same colorway as the highs that i want it's a no-brainer for me for less why not absolutely why not i just do not understand um so I don't know, but I just wanted to take my, give you my take on what's going on and how I feel about the mid game. But you will see mids on this channel. Actually, I got a pair of mids on here right now. Uh, I'm, I got a pair of mids on the way right now. So it's just a matter of waiting for them to get delivered. I think they get delivered sometime this week. Uh, but I, I just, I'm a mid guy. I'm a high guy. I'm a sneaker guy. I like the culture. It's, it's not too much I'll turn my collar down to unless I just don't like the look of it. But the aesthetic wise, it's the same sneaker. Feel-wise, the leather's a little tough. 
like in parts some parts of them like buttery soft like this heel right here buttery soft but this is much more stiff here this isn't like real good fine tumble leather kind of, it's okay it's not great but it's okay it's not as bad as people make it sound so don't fall for the hype all right so by all means uh if i was you i'd buy mids because everybody ain't made of money all right so appreciate y'all for checking in don't forget subscribe like comment be part of this movement be part of the process I appreciate it. See y'all later.